Hello from Blues Domino. We've got the Fender Bass Breaker 45 Combo Amp. This is their 212 amp that runs in anywhere from 1 to 45 watts. And it also has a normal and a bright channel or a both input. So I'm going to go ahead and play it uh, just open chunking on some strings uh, with the highest volume setting on the guitar. And uh, we're going to jack it both up the normal and the bright channel and kind of give you an idea sound wise what a reverb pedal sounds like in front of that. So um, and the big question is, is, how does it sound? I mean, most people are used to running a time based effect like a reverb pedal or a delay pedal or a chorus, even. You know, some of those things, uh, they like to run those in their. Uh, you know, effects loop. So that way the signal is not affected as much. Sometimes when you push a uh, delay pedal or a reverb pedal in this example in the front of the amp, you can have some undesirable effects. Um, you know, the things that I've experienced, I'll let you judge for yourself, but I mean, you can hear it. It's pretty apparent. Um, if you've got the, the level of the gain up high in the highest setting, and you're pushing a reverb in front of it, you get a little awkward, um, I don't know, kind of a, a reverb distortion, if you will. I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure there's a term for it. All you have to do is just turn down your EQ level or whatever setting on your reverb pedal so you lessen the amount of uh, wet signal in with your dry signal through the pedal. It uh, will pretty much alleviate the issue that you might have. But uh, have a listen and see what you think for yourself. Uh, right now I've just got the input going into the normal. I've got the normal volume cranked. And then of course the output attenuator down to the lowest possible setting. I've got the treble about three quarters of the way up. Bass a little bit down from the middle. Uh, the middle about three quarters of the way up. And presence, we've got setting it about, you know, I don't know, just over half. Uh, I had a question out there about what this amp sounds like with reverb pushing in front of it. So I've got the, uh, you know, this is upside down and everything, but I've got a RV6 boss. I've got it set to spring. Um, you know, there's the level settings. You have to forgive me for this being upside down, but uh, that's what we've got. So I'll crank up the volume for the guitar, and maybe we'll just do a little open strumming. And we'll kick out the overdrive pedal. out feeling uh, when it's cranking hard so you just got to turn your input level a little bit down on your reverb Okay, so now we're in the bright channel, and here is again your reverb settings. I know earlier I said that I was going to turn the overdrive pedal off. It's actually the reverb pedal, but anyhow, uh, here's your settings for that. You can see the normal volume is down because it's not being used right now. We've got the bright volume, uh, the output down to on the attenuator down to one the treble, the bass, the middle, and the presence back where they were. So we're going to go ahead and chunk some open chords for you. Sounds good. Kick out the 
kick off the reverb pedal. That sounds pretty good too, so you decide. Alright, so there you go. What do you think about that? I guess what you can take away from this is the uh, Bass Breaker 45 has that high gain sound that's very desirable. If you're pushing that, I don't know that the reverb is really a big issue. Um, you know, I like to have reverb like the next guy does, uh, but at a high gain sound, uh, you know, I really don't need it, especially in the, the breakup that you get from the amp, the reverb, I think it just kind of gets lost. So uh, the clarity that you get in the thump and uh, bass response that you get, especially when those tubes are just rocking out, um, it, it is it doesn't need any help in the means of reverb. So that's kind of my opinion with it. Um, you know, if I'm going to do a high gain sound out of this amp, I'm probably not going to be worried about the reverb too much. If I do, it's going to be a real subtle piece of the equation. Um, but generally, what I play is just slightly overdriven tones and more clean than anything with the blues and the like. When I'm doing the heavy rock stuff, I don't need much reverb, maybe a little delay. Maybe we should look at uh, a delay pedal through the front of this amp, cranked up on a high gain setting, and see how that does in comparison. But as far as reverb is concerned, um, it sounds great in a lower gain mode, but uh, when you jack up the, the gain on this, um, you know, I, I think the reverb just kind of gets lost. So that's my two cents. And hope you guys enjoy it. So, Blues Domino out.